today's video is going to be a get on ready with me. So I've got my damp makeup cloth which I am going to use. These are amazing. They're like a pound fifty, I think, or two pound fifty maybe at the most for all my pre mark. And it does what it says on the tin. Just taking all my makeup off. I've had this makeup on since about nine o'clock this morning. It is now just heading for five. And I would normally just sometimes take my makeup off in the shower, but I had my shower this morning. I mean, look at that. There's still a tiny trace of the mascara. But other than that, these are brilliant. You should totally, totally pick them up. So I'll let my face just absorb for a minute or two. Then I am going to go in with one of my favourites. I'm sure you've seen on my channel. I've picked this up a few times. Focus. Come on. There you go. I've picked this up a few times on Latest in Beauty. It's a 3-in-1 sensitive skin Vichy Thermal Spa Water One Step Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. So, the reason I like it is it doesn't irritate my skin. And it also is so easy to use because it's not a cleanser that you have to go and put on and wash off. You just pop it on a pad. like so and gently sweep across your face and then your neck don't forget your neck and it just takes off the excess residue that that wee cloth didn't get and then I put my finger like this and just do wiggle motions underneath just to make sure I'm getting all that mascara off without irritating my eyelashes. I've got the window open if you can hear traffic outside. I think it's a bus or a lorry or something. And then I like to sweep it over my eyebrows because sometimes a lot of product gets stuck in the eyebrows. And I just use the other side of the pad and give it a sweep over my forehead and right round the perimeter of my face because that's usually the bit that we all kind of forget to do me. And that's the excess taken off with the cleanser. Now, I'm going to use a bit of this Pixie Glow Tonic which has got 5% glycolic acid and it's an exfoliating toner. I'm sure you will all have seen and heard of it. It reminds me of VO5. Um, hot oils. The smell of it. Leave a comment if you remember VO5 hot oil. So again, a little bit on the pad and it says to avoid eyes and lips. So I am bad and actually take it just there to my eye but not actually on my eye. Because I kind of want to see if it will help with my milia, which is the little white bumps that you get just under your eyes there. So I take it like that and then I'm really careful to do this because it does sting the lips if you get it on the lips and then I'm just sweeping it. Cross my face and forehead. And again, it's taken off any excess that the cleanser didn't, but it's also supposed to give my skin a bit of a glow and also supposed to not do that. Oh. <laughs> the lid rolled away. Yeah, so what does it say it does? It says it gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing 
healthy glowing skin for all skin types alcohol free so i use this now and again I just chop and change <sighs> let that breathe for a little bit and it does actually i think it does make my skin look quite glowy see then i am going to take my bobby brown extra repair serum as you can see it's well loved take a couple of pumps of that onto my hand looks like so rub it between my hand and i'm going to pat it into my face and onto my neck I'm not rubbing it in i'm patting it in i don't know about anybody else but because we're getting not that i'm feeling cold because we're getting into the autumn months, my skin is starting to change, so it's needing a heck of a lot more moisture. Then I'm going to take one of many eye creams. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. Looks like so. It's quite a thick cream. I'm going to take a tiny amount on my ring finger, and I put it up here on the orbital bone. because I get eczema up there and believe it or not, this cream really helps my eczema. And then I just dab a little bit in under the eyes. So I take it quite far up actually. I've got really, really dry eyelids as well. And a little bit more just under here. Dabbing it in. And that's got a slight scent to it, but nothing major. So I use that, not always, but especially if my eye, I don't know if you can see it, the eczema's all flared up. This is really good. And then the last step for me is my Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator Cream, which looks like so. It's a gel consistency. And I just take a small amount on my hand, rub it in, and again, pat it into the skin. Don't rub it in. And that's me done. That's me makeup free. And that is me taking it all off. And possibly before I go to bed, I might give a spritz of some kind of facial, facial mist. Or I might put a mask on that you can leave on overnight because your skin does more at night, like to regenerate and replump and all these sorts of things. So it's great to have more of a nighttime routine than a daytime routine. Plus, a lot of us don't have time in the day with jobs, work, kids, whatever it may be. So that is me all done. Makeup off. And hopefully hydrated to the hills. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Doing the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to enter my 1000 subscriber giveaway. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me so far. I am totally grateful. I love interacting with you all. I love, um, you know, replying to your messages on the comments and stuff. It's great. So, yeah. Thanks a lot for that and hopefully you enjoy it too, which is why you come back. Hopefully you don't come back just because you could win a giveaway. I know some people do, but hey ho. Anyway, I hope you have a nice weekend, whatever you're getting up to, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!